My name is JJ and this is the Electro Harmonics 8 step program, a step sequencer. Something you would not typically use uh, with an electric guitar. You would see it in the rigs of a keyboard player, somebody who plays a synthesizer or a producer who uses digital audio workstations. But it's a very inspiring piece of gear when used with the guitar and other effects pedals and you can really have a lot of fun tweaking this one. Before I'm going to show you um, what the pedal can do, please allow me to explain what step sequencers are. A step sequencer doesn't really do anything by itself. It doesn't have a voice of its own. Picture this. You're playing your guitar into pedal X, and pedal X is running to the amplifier. Then pedal X allows you to control certain parameters by means of an external expression pedal. And of course, you can do that by rocking your foot up and down and change the parameter gradually. A step sequencer can do the same thing. You can plug it into the expression pedal input, but then you don't get a really gradual movement, but you can get and create movement by programming certain steps, eight steps in the case of the eight step program. And that is a sequence that is repeated. That's why it's called a step sequencer. There are some other parameters like rate which is the, um, uh, you know, the tempo of the sequence. There's a parameter called glide that you can use to slide in and out of uh, notes. And there's a tab divide function. As you can see, it's got nine sliders, eight, to let you set up your sequence, something like this. And this ninth slider controls the rate, or in other words, the tempo. If I take it up, the uh, tempo LED is going to start blinking faster. If I take it down, it's going to go slower. It's got, it's got an uh, expression CV out that you use to plug the 8-step program into pedal X. It's got a, a MIDI in so you can synchronize to a MIDI clock. Expression in so you can use the 8-step as an expression through. Uh, an FC jack that lets you plug in this cute little 8-step program foot controller that you can use to scroll through presets and save presets. And then it's got two buttons. One that says tab divide, so you can set it to uh, dotted eighth notes, triplets, regular eighth notes, eighth note triplets, sixteenth notes, and if I tap it again, all of the LEDs are lit, and that means you get thirty second notes. Uh, expression mode, with this you can set which parameter the external expression pedal is going to control if you're going to use one. This button is also really important, you can set the effect level like this, if I tap it again, uh, only the uh, GL LED is lit, so that means glide. And I can roll in some glide effect, so the notes are going to go in and out of each other. Right now it's off. The direction, which is forward, and there's a couple of other uh, modes. And this stands for sequence length. Right now it does all eight steps. And I can take it back to four, three, two, you know, whatever. Um, now let me just uh, tap play. You can see that the eight step is doing its thing a little faster. And I can hit it again, and now it's stuck at um, step 4, so that's why there's a reset button to take it back to 1. And you can use tap tempo to control the tempo, so right now it's pretty fast. Okay, so now I've got my guitar plugged into the Electro Harmonics Stereo Talking Machine, which is basically an envelope filter that allows me to create uh, human vowel sounds by picking harder or softer. Hear what the pedal sounds like. Here's a straight amp sound, no effect. So nice and clean. When I kick it in, it sounds like this. Now notice that the sensitivity knob is almost at 3 o'clock. So that means that it's uh, quite sensitive to my pick attack. And when I pick soft, you can see the sweep level LEDs uh, are sort of off. And when I pick harder, they're going to go on. So you can uh, actually see how hard you're picking. Okay, it's also got a built-in distortion that I can switch off. Now, I can hook up an expression pedal, a foot pedal, like a wah pedal, to the talking machine to control the envelope, but I'm going to use the 8-step for that. And for that, I will roll back the sensitivity to 12 o'clock, 
that means that the envelope of the talking machine is bypassed and I can control the envelope uh, by means of a pedal uh, or in this case the 8-step program. Now when I plug in the 8-step program into the um, talking machine it's going to act like a step filter rather than um, an auto war or something like that. I've got this nice little sequence um, I've programmed. I've got my tap tempo ready. I'm just going to hit reset to make sure that I'm under one and uh, listen to that, what that sounds like. <laughs> Now let's just say I've set up a sequence that I really like and I want to save that. For that I will need the foot controller. Um, I'm just going to hit the uh, up button a couple of times and I'm going to save it to slot number 5 and for that I just have to push this button and hold it until it starts blinking. There you go, now it's saved and I can scroll through other patterns and I can call up number 5 again uh, by using these two switches. I've set up the 8-step program to produce a 4-step sequence to produce a very trippy tremolo type effect. Also I'm running the amp on the drive channel and I've put the blend knob on the ring thing at 12 o'clock to hear some more dry guitar. Here's without the 8-step. And here's with. With the 8-step program, electroharmonics have once again proved that they make pedals that are truly inspiring and very different. You might not go into a music shop saying, oh, I'm going to buy a step sequencer for my guitar, but you'll see that once you plug it in and use it uh, with, for instance, the stereo talking machine, the ring thing, or maybe a deluxe memory boy, uh, it's really going to turn some heads and it's really going to spark your creativity. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel and never miss a video again. Also visit my Facebook page, that's facebook.com forward slash JJ Likes Guitar. See you next time. JJ out.